Hi, this is Rachel with Good Behavior Beginnings, and today's video is game schooling, reading, and language arts. So I think there's a lot of good uh, games around reading, spelling, um, words, and some of that vocabulary stuff. So I'm going to go over some that sort of cover a variety there. The first one is one that's definitely um, geared a little bit younger, but first learning to uh, put together words. Uh, three letter learning game. This is called What's New, uh, G N U. And it is fun because it's got one of these things where you slide it and the tiles come out. And what kid doesn't like to, you know, slide stuff and make the tiles come out, right? So the idea is that you have cards um, and you get new tiles and then you try to make words out of the letters that you get um, on the tiles that are in front of you. And you could play it a variety of different ways. The way we usually play it is we actually lay out all of the tiles and we um, get the letters and we just try and see if we can use all of the letters in the words um, and without any extra letters at the end. So that's really fun um, and one that you can do at a younger age. Um, another one that we really like is Boggle, or in this case, we have Big Boggle. And this is the one where it's got the dome full of letters and a tile and you shake it up. Whoa. Um, and you spill the dice everywhere. No, hopefully you don't spill them everywhere, but it's got letters on the dice. You shake it up and then you take it off and you start the timer and you try to make words based upon where the letters collect, connect. So T-H-E, that's the word the, B-E-T, that's the word bet. Um, the rules for Big Boggle, I believe, is that you have to have um, more than three letters. Um, when we play it with my kid, we do adults have to have four letters or above. Kids can have whatever, right? So if they find A and M for am, congratulations, that's a word. Um, it goes pretty fast and then you can play to, you know, you can play as many rounds as you want um, or it can just be something that you do really briefly and then you go back to another activity. Um, there is of course Scrabble. Um, so making the words and adding up the point values. Um, now I have played with some people who are really hardcore Scrabble players. We are not. We don't necessarily play that way. Um, and we usually aren't keeping score, but just trying to come up with words to practice that. Um, there's also a Scrabble Junior. Um, and I believe that Scrabble Junior has two levels, one where there are some words already on the board that you can play off of, and one that just um, is a little bit bigger and more bonus points so um, that you can more easily create some words. One that is similar to that, that I personally like is upwards and it works like Scrabble, except that, you know, if somebody wrote the word top and you had a P, you could put P on top of the T and play pop and you can, you know, build up on the words instead. So coming up with the rhyming words, um, that can be pretty fun for that. Another one that I like is categories. And there are, well, okay, I have three versions of categories. Um, one of them, and the one that is the kid's favorite right now, is the card game. So there's two decks. One is the category, and one is the letters on uh, of the alphabet. And you turn over a category and a letter, and then you try to see who can name something um, the first uh, under that category in that letter. Or you can um, take turns where everybody has to name uh, something from that category with that letter without repeating themselves. Um, this version of categories is categories categories. And so they have um, a category. Uh, so this would be like camping trip. And then for each of these with the letter, you would come up with something related to the category. Um, so that's really good for working on like 
classified things or by doing things by category. Now this one does say ages 12 and up. I've played it with my kid who's eight um, and uh, you know, it works. You just might not be as competitive, right? Um, take a little bit more time. The original categories, if you don't know, is the one where you roll a dice that has a letter on it, you turn on the timer, everybody has their board, and they have a list of different categories, and you use that same letter to um, answer all 12 of the things. So it's sort of the opposite of the categories where these are gonna be different letters about the same category. The original categories is um, the same letter about different categories. Um, but it's also fun coming up with the different name, different words under certain letters or different um, words about certain categories or coming up with the letter in the category in the card game. Another one that I like, and I think there are some other games that are similar. Um, this one is Tribond Kids, but basically this is where they give uh, three um, things on a card and you try to figure out what they have in common. So for example, um, heat, fuzz, and cops might be our terms for police. Um, <laughs> Red Delicious, Granny Smith, and Macintosh are types of apples. So you would get the clue, three things, um, and then you would try and figure out what they have in common. Um, again, that's for a little bit older kids, but can be fun. Um, this says ages seven to 11, although I did notice that when we were playing it, um, some of the comments or some of the questions cards are a little bit outdated. So um, there might be a newer version, but like I've said in other videos, I love getting um, used games at secondhand stores. And so this was one of those purchases and we've enjoyed it for what it is. Um, the final one that I wanted to go over is from Game Right and it's Story Cubes. And this is just fun, not necessarily like a points game, although I guess you could make it that way, but there are nine dice. Wow, you can't see. There are nine dice there and um, each one has like picture icons on it. And the idea is that you would roll the dice and then you would create a story. You could put them in different order or you could take turns and everybody roll one dice and you add to it. Um, but we've just had fun rolling the dice, being creative, coming up with stories. Um, it might be good, you know, for like a story prompt or a writing prompt. Um, if people are struggling with what to come up with, that might be a fun way to sort of get at that same creativity. So those are some games for reading, language arts, spelling. Um, if you have other games that sort of fit that category, please feel free to share those below. And thanks for watching.